Your dogs, of course, will be maybe higher level, but dogs are always going to heaven. Oh, thank you so much. I don't go nowhere else. <laughs> they came from there and they go back there. Oh, so I'll share that with him. <laughs> thank you. All my deceased dogs are in fifth level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Oasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish and Thai. Днешни поздрави, състрадателни зрители! Казвам се Борислава от София, от исторически богатата България. Република България се намира в югоизточна Европа. Известна е като средище на природни красоти, с разнообразни детствени пейзажи, като дълги крайбрежия, златни пясъчни плажове и високи планини. Един от природните паркове има около 60 планински върхове, издигащи се над 2500 метра над морска височина, с чиста планинска вода, течаща надолу към езерата. България е също така дом на повече от 550 целебни минерални извора, за които се твърди, че имат специални, възстановяващи здравето свойства. Главна религия в България е източното православие с богата традиция в историята. Много величествени манастири могат да се видят из страната, като Рилския манастир, който е обект на световното наследство на образователната, научна и културна организация на Обединените нации ЮНЕСКО. За нас е чест да споделим с вас културна България. Молим се вашите дни да цъфтят с радост и благословия. от 30 години Върховният учител Чинхай озарява нашия свят с божественото си учение. Напълно просветлен учител тя предава метода за медитация Кланин на унези, които желаят незабавно да открият божествената природа в себе си и за един живот да постигнат вечно освобождение от кръга на преражданията. Метода Кланин се практикува от всички просветлени учители, като Буда, Исус Христос, пророка Мухамед, мир на душата му, гуру Нанак и много други. Тя подчертава, че ако винаги помним Бог, служим безкорисно на другите и следваме законите на Вселената, ще постигнем най-висшия си потенциал като хора и истински ще разберем своята цел на Земята. Върховният учител Чинхай е изключителен жив пример на състрадание. Тя редовно изпраща материална и финансова помощ, както и любовта си на бежанците, бездълните, пострадалите от природни бедствия и други нуждаещи се от помощ. През 2006 година тя получава наградата за мир Гуси, смятана за Нобеловата награда 
за мир на изток и е достойна през годините с множество други награди и почести за изключителната си благотворителна и хуманитарна дейност. Истински глас в защита на красивите ни приятели животните. Тя насърчава мирното и любящо хранене на растителна основа и предрича пробуждането на човечеството за светостта на всички форми на живот. Един мирен и славен и цяло вегански свят, в който животни и хора живеят в блаженна хармония. Инициативите й за разпространяване на веганската тенденция са разнообразни и включват раздаване на флайера, альтернативен начин на живот, международната верига, вегански ресторанти Ловинхът, Чипри Мастер Телевизион, както и редовни разговори с влиятелни лидери на правителствата и медиите и участието й в телевизионни конференции за климатичните промени, доколко сме запознати с тях. Усилията й имат огромно влияние върху глобалното осъзнаване за начин на живот, който е любящ към животните и как това доброжелателно съществуване може да донесе дълготраен мир сред народите и да спаси планетата ни от климатичните промени. През годините върховният учител Чинхай е пътувал по целия свят, от Америките до Африка, от Европа до Океания и е изнасяла стотици лекции пред обществото и пред учениците си на разнообразни духовни теми. Днес сме благословени да представим една от тези проникновени лекции, озаглавена да издигнем света, част 4 от 5, между учителят и учениците, произнесена на английски на 7 април 2012 година във Франция. Yeah, the Westerner downstairs. Can you see me? You want to come up? No, you better not. <laughs> you become a sandwich. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right, Master. Uh, we just want to share good news from uh, Central, Central New Jersey. Uh, thanks to Master's vision and uh, blessing, we have a loving heart in Central New Jersey for wow. uh, about four months now. And, uh, oh. Good? It's very good because local people are very supportive and they always come to us and wish us do well. They don't want us to go anywhere. Wow. And um pretty. Yeah, another good thing happening is in the our ki- in the kitchen, we have um a lot of kitchen workers. They also watch uh Supreme Master TV and uh, they also call master master. <laughs> they they're from local the local people and we hire them to work in the kitchen and oh, I they, see. they, they I recognize um uh master's teaching they always call ah we want to we want to cook like master because sometimes we play master's uh cooking cooking show oh please don't embarrass me <laughs> <laughs> so they they will arrange the dishes like master did oh and, please uh, don't and, embarrass uh, me <laughs> truly and uh so it's please truly cook, a blessing cook anything that's good for your Customer, okay? It's really good. The customers really love our dishes. Yeah, okay. Don't cook my stuff because my stuff is only for kids, you know, and home cooking for children. Yeah, has... a, yeah, do you remember one time you cook outside? You mm-hmm. know, so that's a DVD we've been playing uh, uh, in the kitchen right now. Which so, one? Uh, you cook uh, outside with some potato and you, you're talking about, you know, in the old time, people mostly cook outside. Oh, yeah, that one. Okay. So, potatoes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the co- <laughs> but that's really tasty, you know. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> what was that with the potatoes? <laughs> Potato with uh, some carrot and uh, and all uh, that. And sausage and stuff. Vegan sausage. Yes. Oh, I see. Cook in the, with the wood. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. That's the one. Oh, very simple food, really. Yeah. So they I, cook cook that in the kitchen okay. for us. I just wanted to show. Children, you know, this is uh, adolescents, uh, teenagers, it's easy to cook. You don't have to always wait for mama or it's not that big deal to cook vegetarian for yourself. Yes, right. So I show simple, simple things, very simple things. Yes. Yes. 
So I don't know if your viewer or your customer like it. I mean, whatever. You really like it. Okay, if they do. <laughs> if they do, it's okay. But uh, please don't force them to eat the what sure, <laughs> I sure. cook. Because I'm telling you, I didn't have much time with Supreme Master Television writing books and dogs and birds and uh, humans at the same time. So I don't even have chance to think in advance what I'm going to cook or prepare in anything. Just mostly spontaneous. Understand? Right. Do it at ease. <laughs> Sometimes I just run, run quick, you know, oh, sweating. <laughs> okay, okay, make up, make up, quick, quick, and go camera and do it yourself style. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I'm not sure if um, if it's fit for a loving hood customer or not. But if they like it, then good luck to you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Good luck. <laughs> good. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank good you. job. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Wow, today is good. Come on, here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get going. Huh? It's warming up now, huh? Uh. Hello, Masa. Hello. Hello. Yes. I want to ask you if you can tell us uh, something about how the situation, about uh, uh, the evolution from the world vegan now is, mm. or if there are some yeah, many, many for people, us. Many people more more vegan now, okay? Yes, and we have saved the planet. Wow. Yeah. It's going very fast now and I can going, going, it. going, more and more, yeah? More and more, if, if, if I can meditate well, if I'm not disturbed, and then it's faster even, faster and faster. Amazing. Yes. Wait until we both get old. <laughs> We're going to get old together. We be growing old, old. Yeah, so your dream is dying young and beautiful is shattered. Finito. <laughs> yeah, any more? Thank you, Master. All right, love. Next one. Yeah, waiting for that one and the more boy and then you and then you and then you and you and you and you. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Master. Yeah. Uh, we from Mongolia. Ah, you are? Yeah. Look like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, very, very far away, and uh, visa is really a problem. Really? Yeah. And you uh, still make it? Yeah, but uh, very many of us, almost 40, came here. Now? Yeah. Today? In here in Mong uh, Mongolia? Yeah. Right then? Oh. In, in downstairs, many. Downstairs also, I come down later. Yeah. Uh, if you guys uh, finish quick, I can come down later. Just in 14 days, all visa is no problem, and wow. we all came in here. Wow, congratulations. And congratulations. Uh, we, we have a very big ground, but a uh, very small population. I understand. I understand. Uh, only 2 million, but uh, we now have uh, almost 2,000 initiates. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> That's good news. Yeah, I love the Mongolian people so much. Yeah. I think that just so pure. And the veganism is very spreaded out. Uh -huh. And vegan is no problem in Mongolia. Wow, yes. We have uh, uh, around 10, 15 restaurants it's in city and also in the countryside far away. Yes. And almost 20 vegan restaurants and, and fire factory. Oh. Uh, and uh, everyone knows you very well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I know everyone also. <laughs> and uh, I'm very diligent, our yeah. Mongolian uh, yes. brothers and sisters. I they believe. try to spread out uh, more vegan restaurants, even it's difficult. <laughs> I believe. I believe. And uh, good job. You mm -hmm. know, we are nomadic people. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for being so good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for being good people. <laughs> I love Mongolian. You know that, right? You know that. If you just uh, somewhere in Europe, I come see you every day. Nah, my God. Hey, it's so hot, guys. I can't strip because I have, uh, cannot. <laughs> I always have to add on more because <laughs> because the, the, the inside is so thin, you know? <laughs> So I have to always add some more on all the time. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Master. 
Um, I just want to say thank you so much. And it's the first time I see you. And our brother just told about the visa. And it was like a, a magic. Just in a week, uh, everything, every visa came out. Oh. And normally not like that? No. How come? I don't know. Normally what? Normal, normally it take um, minimum a week or two weeks. Yeah, but you, you got it a week, so it's normal. Uh, I mean, it was um, four day, days around. Oh, four days only. Yeah. Oh, okay. And also uh, we have in Mongolia uh, your statue um, in a little... Uh, statue? statue? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Where? Um, in Hoto. Why? Uh, didn't you hear about this? No. Uh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and golden. And it's very tall. Um, around <laughs> nine meter. Oh! <laughs> Nine meters? Yes. Wow. Taller than this room. Yeah. How did you do that? And who? No, it's all our brothers and sisters. Oh. Did. did you have elevator or something to go? <laughs> it's just outside and garden. It's beautiful, yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know. But thank you. Just want to say that everybody is very appreciated and very love you. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you for being good and... Okay, yeah, there, on the staircase, hanging in there, yeah? <laughs> How's your neck doing? <laughs> Give it to her. My God, I see so many of you that I love so much. I wish to take you home. Hello. It looks so beautiful tonight. <laughs> yeah, far away, really? yes. And, and, <laughs> and earlier we were talking about the animals and dogs, Actually, I have a dog at home, and it's, he is five years old right now. And usually I had a very, very good time like in my life with him. Yeah. And because of him, I know a lot of, uh, about animals' emotion, their love. Yeah. And just last year... He told you, or you just feel more connected with animals because yeah, of I him? Yeah, I feel so connected with the animals and they don't talk but you can understand anything they want yeah. and they understand you as well mm, you yes, know yes and last year like he was so close to us me and my husband and my husband went on a trip okay actually and he stopped eating that was for the first time that he his father like w went far from home oh. and really he, he he started to eat garbage at home and he got so sick oh. that like he, he lost half of his weight oh. yeah he was like 53 pounds and then he was um, you don't one. coach him to eat no he doesn't want to that's why and he used to be so picky mm. so he just stopped it and I didn't force him because sometimes I say maybe it's his system, sometimes they take it. No. <laughs> I don't know. At the no, time. No, yeah, breatharian dog. Yeah, mm. I know. You have to go to see doctor and tell him or I go did. to telepathy. Yeah, actually I did. Tell him. And we, we brought him to the vet and even the vet told us, okay, because that at that time he was only like 27 pounds. He lost ah, yeah. half of it. Okay, yeah, he terrible, really... terrible. You shouldn't have waited that long. I know. Because the vet can give some appetizing uh, medicine, maybe it helps, yeah. assuming. And the vet, like, almost told me that you must hospitalize him uh -huh. and you have to give him protein. Uh -huh. And I asked them what kind of protein it is. So that they said it's from animals. Oh. I was almost crying. I, I was crying, actually in front of them yeah. and then I called a brother who has a dog at home I was like can you let me some food or I don't know what to do now and he just told me that okay listen to your heart mm. so right away I decided to bring him home mm. okay I didn't leave them in in the vet and then so and then I started to make my own recipe for him mm. I made some milkshake because he couldn't eat anymore yeah I have to use a siren 
you know, put two yeah, 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 in yeah. his mouth. Yeah, we so, do that. Yeah. I, I did that to some of my dogs. Yeah, and it really helps. I blend them like with uh, fresh vegetables. Yeah, and make it like milk. liquidize a little yeah, and then just yeah, push it in. Yes, exactly. And it's very uh, nutritive yeah. for him. And actually, I saved his life. Oh, and I prayed a lot to Master huh. at that time. I I, I didn't what well, I didn't know what to do. He was like our baby. Yeah, you know? so thank you, thank you, Master. Really, like you gave me that faith. So <laughs> we <laughs> and after that we were talking about <laughs> yeah our story because uh, when we walk him, like we we know some uh, owners of dogs too when we walk to the uh, dog's part and when their dog gets sick and they always like ask us what do you feed him you know because you, your dog are so healthy mm. and he, he is totally healthy now mm. he, yeah he took like only within like 12 three weeks every week he, he gained like five pounds ten pounds you know very good okay and, yeah so thank you master you're welcome thank you so much and thank you actually um, thank you for taking care of him before you've mentioned that, uh, when uh, is it possible that a dog uh, will be liberated even though he's not a human, is not initiated? Will be liberated? Yeah. Sure, dogs are always really? liberated. Oh, okay. Only humans <laughs> are in <laughs> trouble. <goodness. laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Okay. Your dogs, of course, will be maybe higher level, but dogs are always going to heaven. Oh, thank you so much. I don't go nowhere else. <laughs> they came from there and they go back there. Oh, so I'll share that with him. <laughs> thank you. All my deceased dogs are in fifth level. Yeah. Now. Hi, Master. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Now, Excuse me, I'm English not very well, but uh, over time, uh, just say thank you very much for helping me so long. And because uh, you say about a uh, restaurant or how leaves are very small you, and very easy. You to talk into microphone, no? Yeah, very yeah. easy to take care of everything. And now, as I first say thank you, Master, and then I could invite all the sister and brother in here. What I do, because uh, 13 years ago, I own a small, small restaurant, maybe two feet and five feet, on the, they call it Betsy House. Two feet and five feet? Yes. Is about this big? Yes. Yeah, are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, two, two, two people, it work in a very uh, tight. How possible with two feet and five feet? Five feet is about my size, okay? Yeah, and two what? feet is about this. So yeah. this, this, your restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's another restaurant, it's a box. Yes, but, but, but uh, uh, Master, uh, what I do is uh, every day, uh, I say thank you, Master, and then I give a gift and I give a I try to work for 13 years from now, it's just uh, 100 or 200 people a day. Wow. Yes. How, how do they fit in there? Yes, yes. <laughs> you mean two meter and five meter, right? You don't mean two feet by five feet, do you? Yeah, the wide and, and long, long. And yeah, of course, but two feet is about like this and five feet is about this. Yes, they call, my customer, they call it dog house. But we serve very well. We get 200 good, good. Okay, or 100 no. a day. Whatever. Yeah. Is it, if it's well, then it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody don't need too big and pay a lot of rent and right. pay a lot of employment. Yeah, but something. but I won't advise them to. <laughs> two feet and five feet is it's too exaggerated. Very small. Yeah, but we say thank you. Two meter and five meters, I think. Yeah. yeah. Two feet is about this much, madam. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And about five feet is about my size. <laughs> so how are you going to fit in there? If only one is small refrigerator and stove, a small camping stove, not restaurant. at all. Okay, okay. Yeah, the... Wonderful. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you to have a... Happy feet. <laughs> Two feet and five feet. <laughs> Never sit down. <laughs> Thank 
you, thank you for help, but invite the people look like. Where know. are you? They don't even know where you are. Uh, we are in uh, Seattle, but they call it Ben Bush Island. In the island, they call okay. it Ben Bush Island. Oh, you are in the on an island. Yes, an island. Wow, that's very small. Very good. I saw your restaurant just before. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, you know we can eat coconut, yeah? Like a loving and, 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 and peaceful food. So it's good for people who love islands. You can eat as much coconut as you want. It's a good food <laughs> and nutritious, you know, enough. Yeah, you done? Yes, thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Give it to the five feet behind you there. <laughs> So cute. Five meters and two meters max. I mean, minimum. Otherwise, how how you even get in there? <laughs> yeah. No matter how small, it cannot be two feet. You know what I mean? And five feet. Well, I, I, uh, if I get a little bit fatter, I will become like a restaurant size. <laughs> Not possible. Is it? <laughs> Зрители, оценяваме вашата компания за днешния епизод в заглавен Да издигнем света, част 4 от 5, в между учителя и учениците. Моля, останете с Юпри Мастер Телевизион за още позитивни предавания. Следва мирната веганска диета, обща мишка след всички просветлени учители, част 1 от 4, слова на мъдростта. Веднага след важните новини. Бъдете винаги осъзнати, че сте обичани безмерно. May you always be aware that you are loved beyond measure. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash bnd.